Hello and welcome to Finding a Remodeler, a program that will educate, engage, and enlighten viewers on all things related to home remodeling. I'm your host, Ron Jedwab. What does it really take to do a remodeling project? This question is one I get asked all of the time. It's easy to get overwhelmed when planning a home update. And if you are new to home remodeling, it's easy to get frustrated if you don't plan your project carefully. This program is a guide to help you navigate through some pitfalls of home remodeling with tips you may overlook. It's not always easy finding a reliable and trustworthy contractor for home improvement projects. Here are steps to consider while finding a reliable home contractor. Have a detailed plan and budget in mind. For your budget, you can refer to cost versus value, which you can find by doing a Google search that helps define the cost of the top 20 remodeling projects. Contractors are busy, especially in this economy. You may have to wait to start your home construction project, depending on the contractor's availability. Home construction prices aren't the only problem in the home building industry. To meet the demand for labor, the construction industry will need to attract nearly 650,000 additional workers on top of the normal pace of hiring in 2022, according to the February press release from Associated Builders and Contractors, a trade association for construction professionals. Does the contractor have good reviews? Make sure do a search and read reviews on the contractor you're planning to use. House is a very good site to get reviews from clients that have completed projects, but understand that every contractor can have negative reviews and weigh that against all the positive reviews. Ask for references, use online resources, check your personal network and community for referrals. One way to get references again is House, which is an unbiased website from a client's perspective. Ask the remodeler for a list of past clients they have worked with. Interview a couple contractors. Homeowners should request a couple bids from contractors. A thorough bid process will give you a good idea of a fair market price and may help you identify additions to your project based on a contractor's offering. Ask a lot of questions. The most important question to ask is whether the contractor is licensed and insured. Uninsured contractors may cost less, but the financial and legal risk isn't worth the savings. If a contractor is under or not insured, any issue that should happen at your home would fall back on your homeowner's policy. You should also ask about the contractor's timeline, work schedule for the job, and how they plan to protect your home from damage during construction. These are things like protecting your flooring and blocking off areas of the home from dust. Again, always ask for references to get a sense of other homeowners' experiences working with the contractor before making a final decision. This is so important, I said it twice. Verify licenses and insurance. Each state has a different contractor's license requirements, which you can typically verify through your state's labor office. You can also verify their current certificate of insurance or just ask to see a physical copy the contractor's license. The other crucial qualification is experience. Homeowners should ask potential contractors how long they've been in business, what projects they worked on, and call to check the contractor's references. I can't stress references enough. Less experienced contractors aren't necessarily unqualified, but working with a seasoned professional can help bring peace of mind during the project. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll complete our list of how to find a reliable home contractor for your home improvement project. We'll talk contracts, permits, plus much, much more. What are the top five home improvement projects in the U.S.? We'll have that answer right after this. 
I work. I work. And I want to keep working. When my life changed in an instant. When I needed support. We made a plan. Because we couldn't succeed without her. We made a plan. So I could stay in the game. It wasn't a matter if I could go back to work. It was a matter of when and how. Because working works. Working works. Working works. America works best when all Americans can work. To learn more, visit whatcanyoudocampaign.org. Here are the top five home improvement projects in the U.S. Number five, kitchen remodeling. Number four, landscaping. Number three, new flooring. Number two, bathroom remodeling. And the number one home improvement project in the U.S., interior painting. Welcome back to Finding a Remodeler. I'm Ron Jadwab. Before the break, we covered some very important topics every potential homeowner should look at when planning your home improvement project and finding a home remodeler. Here's a quick review. Have a detailed plan in place first. Ask for references of any potential contractor. Interview a couple of contractors. Verify licenses and insurance Contractors are very busy, so be realistic about their availability. Make sure you choose the proper contractor for the right project, and to power home this point again, ask for references. Let's continue on with our list. Once you have selected your contractor, check references, verify license and insurance, and set your schedule, it's time for the major step of signing the contract. Your contract should list everything you want completed, including payment schedule, the materials and model numbers, and who will provide which materials. A standard contract should include the following. Contractor's business and contact information. Contractor's insurance and licensing information. Highly detailed description of the work to be done, the schedule and the timeline. Terms of payment. Permits the contractor is required to pull. Process for how disagreements and changes to the project should be handled. Termination clause that protects both parties. Budget for unexpected costs. With any project, unforeseen events and changes may take place that can impact your budget. It's important that you make room in your budget for unexpected costs. A cost estimate is just that, an estimate. Keeping home construction projects on a budget is difficult and any little surprise can add to the total cost. Set aside five to 10% of your budget as a cushion for unexpected expenses. Confirm permits are pulled. Large home projects will likely require building permits and not having the necessary permits could violate local ordinances and subject you to fines. This can also cause problems when it's time to sell your home. Be cautious of any contract that asks you to obtain permits. While you pay for the permits as part of your project cost, your contractor will typically obtain the permits themselves. Do they have lead certification? It's important to confirm your contractor is lead certified. Having this certification allows the contractor to make holes larger than six square feet. Final payment when job is complete. Finally, do not make your final payment until the job is complete. This will protect your finances if there are delays or completion problems that have not been resolved. So today we went over all the steps you should follow when finding and hiring a home remodeler. Paying close attention to these steps will give you a solid foundation for planning, budgeting, hiring, permitting, and finishing your dream home updates. We'll be bringing you more remodeling tips and processes over the course of the series. In our next segment, we'll feature shower waterproofing with our expert, Sam from FNS. We'll go through all the steps it takes to do the job properly, from setting the drain height, installing a rubber pan, 
cement board mounting and final waterproofing and your grouting option. So stick around, you don't want to miss it. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Finding a Remodeler. We'll see you next time with more home remodeling tips and information to help you through your next home remodeling project. I'm Ron Jadbob for Borchard Kitchen and Bath.